What's going on, y'all? Wolf back with another reaction. We're about to get into some more Bleach episodes. Um, last couple episodes, uh, Nama, Nama, <laughs> I was about to say Nappa and Vegeta. Yami and Urukuda uh, ha have come. Um, Yami fought Ichigo, and Ichigo was actually doing okay. He, he bonkai immediately, he cut off Yami's arm. Um, so it looked like he was gonna win the fight, and then the, the inner hollow decided to step in and fuck with Ichigo's fight, which resulted in Ichigo actually taking an L. He got his ass beat after that. Yami was just stomping him around. Luckily, Urahara and Yoruchi came, saved the day. It looked like they were about to finish off Yami. Yami didn't stand a chance against them. And then Urukuda stepped in, and then he pretty much was like, all right, we got enough information, let's bounce. So, although that would have been a sick 2v2, and I think Urahara and Yoruchi might have had the, had, had the advantage there because Yami didn't... Yami was looking like a fucking helpless, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, Arankar uh, against them. But uh, of course, again, we don't know the strength of Urukuda. Urukuda um, could have very well fucking, um, you know, 1v2'd them for all, for all I know. So, um, but again, I can't wait to see him fight. He, I mean, just the, the characters that, that, that scare me the most or Rather, I feel that our strongest in anime are the calm ones, the ones that are just like monotone, that they just stand there very stoic-like, showing no emotion. And that's exactly Urukuda. Urukuda. I don't know. If I'm saying that wrong, I don't care. This, it sounds cool. Urukuda. I, I'm saying it like that. Who cares? Okay? That's, that's, that's how I like to say it, so I'm going to say it like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, so Urukuda stopped the fight. Him and Yami went back. And uh, we saw a little bit of their hideout. Aizen is apparently sitting on the throne and then a bunch of these other pure Aran cars are standing around and Aizen said there's at least 20 of them. So there's at least 20 others that are just as strong as Yamin and um, Urukude, right? So that's definitely exciting to look forward to. Um, and because of the Aran car attack, Soul Society decided to send in uh, a few reinforcements. Toshiro, Rangiku, Ikaku, Yumichika, um, Renji, and of course Rukia, my girl Rukia, who is, uh, uh, I definitely, after seeing, um, you know, how much, how much Rukia's words really, you know, really mean to Ichigo, I mean, I definitely don't, you know, f uh, their relationship is very platonic and, you know, best friend type, which I, which I definitely, I find, I fuck with, it's totally fine, right, and just, just seeing her, you know, instill words of encouragement into Ichigo and having him, you know, break this fucking, the, this this inner struggle he has going on between you know him being too too scared to use a shinigami pair just because his fucking hollow is gonna fuck around you know what I'm saying so I definitely like seeing that scene I was definitely uh, one of the one of my more favorite scenes in the past couple episodes for sure and uh, also Toshiro has I guess schooled us given us a little lesson on Aran cars there are three types of Menos Grand apparently, three categories. There is the Gillians, which is the one that um, Ichigo fought very early in the series, where he, you know, he was able to retreat them with a with a with his first Getsuga Tensho attack, right? He was able to retreat a Gillian, um, and to Toshiro said those are fairly easy to deal with. It doesn't take you know more than one Catherine to deal to deal with one at a time. So, boom. But then he said um, uh, the Ajuchas or Ajukas. Uh, was the, was the second level. These are very strong, and he and he even said that one Ajukas is. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's wrong. But Aj the Ajukas is several times stronger than the than the Gillian. So that that's where he said the fights will get tough. And then he mentioned Vasta Lordes. That's when uh, Toshiro said that um, these Vasta Lordes are definitively definitively stronger than captains. That's kind of scary. So now I'm wondering. Okay, how many of the current pure Aran cars used to be Vasto Lordes because if Aizen is able to go to the hollow world as a king you know he must have a few of them so I mean it, it, if a Vasto Lordes is already stronger than a captain and they've been made into an Aran car that means they're just even that much stronger so that's definitely a little scare point an exciting thing yet very scary and also it's even more scary to know that Aizen is more is more powerful than these vast Alordes of Rankar and that he's able to command them so again that's another way of showing just how fucking strong this Aizen guy is we don't really know I mean we know he to, in my eyes he's kind of invincible at this point <laughs> to be able to control these strong ass fucking hollows like nothing so 
So yeah, man, that's pretty much where we are right now. Um, so I think, um, I mean, it is what it is. I think uh, these past few episodes have, de have definitely shown that Ichigo needs... I mean, he got his ass beat, right? Even though he was winning, I feel like he would have definitely lost against Urukura. You know what I'm saying? So I think um, he needs he needs to become a Vizard. I mean, I, I know I've been saying it ever since we found out the term Vizard, but he needs to get over... A, a, I feel like he needs a, list, a little bit more push. I feel like he needs to get his ass beat just one more time, maybe. Maybe one more time, because the Yami fight wasn't enough, because he was actually winning in that Yami fight. So that's so because Ichigo was kind of winning, he it wouldn't give him that motivation to be like, okay, maybe I'm not strong enough yet, right? So he needs to get his ass beat maybe one more time, like definitively, like a, a fucking, he gets bitch slapped and he can't do anything about it. That, that's what he needs. And then he'll be like, okay, Maybe it's time to fucking, you know, turn into a visor and fuck with Hirako and see, you know, who the rest of the other Vizards are. I definitely am very interested in this Vizard group. We've seen two of them. We've seen Hirako. We've seen Hiyori, right? Um, they said they have, uh, uh, they, they, they said that they have multiple members. So I'm definitely curious to see who else are the Vizards, uh, you know, in residing in Karakuta town, if you will, right? So uh, that's pretty much where we stand right now. Um... I don't know, I guess we gotta think of a battle strategy to, to, to deal with these Iran cars. I mean, pretty much uh, the way I see it is everyone's gotta get individu individually stronger. And, um, you know, once the Iran cars you know, decide to attack again, um, or if we're gonna go on the offensive, because I'm sure they have a way to go into the hollow world, you know what I'm saying? Then that's what we gotta do. So. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, so, but, but before we get into these Bleach episodes, of course, I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you guys to hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Eventually, I will watch one of your favorite animes or TV shows on this channel right here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that shit in the future. And without further ado, let's get into these Bleach episodes, man. 116, 117. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Didn't that hurt? What the fuck? This must be some kind of hollow power. Yo, I, I still find it kind of crazy and hilarious how Aizen just took off his glasses, slicked his hair back, and became a whole new man. <laughs> Oh, that's another one. He looks kind of cool. Ooh, his hair is nice. Not as cool as Toshiro's here, but... Maybe second best in the show. He looks pretty normal. I also feel like I've heard this guy's voice before in some animes in the past. Like it's a popular anime voice. Grimjo. Nice name too. That is a common mistake that bad guys do in anime. That they, they underestimate the enemy. So I can't blame Urukuda. He's just following the script. <laughs> Aerodactyl. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, it's that guy. Oh shit, how strong is he? Grimjo, was it? Oh fuck. They're attacking again? Why? Oh my god. I thought we... I thought they weren't gonna attack again. Because Urukuda said it was pointless. Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. This is definitely awesome. Because now they're going to fight. What's this Peskisa they were talking about? Is it like a scouting technique for Hollows? 
That's what it looks like. Damn it, every time I look at these around cars, I'm like, damn, they look hella human. Even the mask is like, you know, like like, like it's Halloween. And then all of a sudden they have a fucking big hole in their stomach or chest. And I'm just like... <laughs>少しでも霊圧のあるやつは残らず皆殺しだ。一匹たりとも逃がすんじゃねえぞ。Oh man, here we go. Iran cars versus shit versus shitting gummies, bro, in Katakuta town. Let's go. This is gonna be sick. Oh, Ikaku has been waiting to fight, bro. Damn, it just fucking appeared. Oh, shit. Wow, it's on. It's on and popping right now, immediately. Also, they have flash step? It kind of looks different. And it makes a different sound. It's more like... Disturbing. Number 11? Oh, so they have fucking squads too? Oh, shit! I do like how even though they're enemies, they always say their name first. As a sign of respect, you know, for warriors. Good old, good old samurai code. So we've s oh shit! Oh, dude, fucking classic bleach! All these cool ass fights happening at the same time. God damn it! Uh, I was gonna say we've seen Toshiro's Bankai, but we don't know what it does, cause he got one shot by Aizen. So I'm hoping in this fight we can see what it actually does. Oh, fuck him too. Everyone's got to fight, bro. Oh. Who's Ichigo? Yes! Chad would have died. <laughs> oh my god, his teeth. What the fuck? Ew. Oh, uh, no. No, I kind of feel bad. Chad is like a manly man's man, and he's getting told to step back. <sighs> Come on, Chad. What have you do been doing all this time, bro? I'm supposed to be training. Alright, so the question is how strong these are Runkard that has arrived compared to Yami and Udokuda. Because Yami was clearly weaker than Udokuda, right? <laughs> Oh, is she gonna fight? Yeah! No, I fuck with this. I wanna see Rukia fight, bro. Does she have like a Shikai or a Bankai, you know? We haven't seen her fight in a, in a bit. I like this. Let's go. Let's get it then. Let's see what Rukia's got. We've the last time we legit saw Rukia fight as a Soul Reaper was episode one. Number sixteen. The round cards say number. They don't say squad. They don't say squad. So maybe they don't have squads. They, they, they just you know. They're just numbered. Now are, are those numbers relative to their strength within the round cards? Oh, this is the Hershikai. 
染めの舞い突きしろ What did she just do? Oh, it's, is that ice? That's like Toshiro. Whoa. Okay, so she has an ice sword. Interesting. I would have liked to see something, you know, unique other than Toshiro's ice sword, but this is fine. It's a pretty looking power. Damn, that sword looks fucking cool. It is pretty fucking beautiful. No cap. That, yeah, that's definitely the best looking sword we've seen so far. That shit is nice. Uh oh. Who's that? Every time that happens, I think I feel like it's captain level fucking spiritual pressure. Oh, it's this guy. This cool looking guy. Oh shit. It just got fucking real. He's number six. Okay. I'm kind of figuring out what these numbers mean. I'll explain it once this episode's over. But I think I got a good idea on what these numbers mean. Just according to what we've seen so far. Oh! Damn, dude, these Aran cars are seriously strong. Jesus. Damn, there's so many good fights going on. <laughs> oh, fuck, Ikaku is already bloody? What number is this, Aronkar? Oi! <laughs> this guy's hollow mask making him look like he's wearing glasses. <laughs> What happened to Yumi Chika? Did he get knocked out already? Fuck. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Oh. All right. Well, it has begun. Cool, man. <laughs> All of a sudden, we got fucking we got Toshiro fighting, Rangiku fighting, fucking Ikaku fighting some dude. We got Ichigo and Rugi ran into this Green Jo guy. Um. We got uh, who else do we got fighting? Is that it? Oh, we got Renji fighting a guy too. Oh man. Okay, so first, why are they why are they attacking in the first? I thought I thought Urukura told Aizen that it wasn't worth attacking Ichigo because he just seems like a worthless runt with you know potential, right? So why the fuck are they attacking? Hmm. Must have been some I don't know emergency protocol or some shit. It's just it's just I don't know. It's just, it's just random. I definitely did the, I did not expect that to happen. But um, I am kind of glad they did because now we're gonna see some very cool fights. So. But the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, so uh, some of the Iran cars introduced themselves as numbers, um, and I know I also noticed the the Soul Society were introducing them themselves as uh, part of squads. So what I'm thinking is, um, Aizen said that there's like 20 of them, right? Roughly around 20. So what I'm thinking is they don't really they, they don't have enough to have squads, rather than they just number themselves. Now, 
I'm pretty sure this this is this is this is the case. Their number is relative to how strong they are in the group. For example, um, the 20th wrong card in that group is the 20th strongest, where the number one is probably the number one strongest, right? Again, that's obviously a very easy thing to assume and a very you know easy thing to predict. But I'm pretty sure that's it, just because uh, the, the the number 16 wrong card that Rukia dealt with. I mean, he pretty much got one shot. Even though I'm not saying Rukia isn't weak or anything, her Shikai is very cool, and her sword is definitely the coolest, be most beautiful looking sword we've seen in the show. Actually, I take that back. Um, I, I think uh, Soifon's Shikai is the coolest looking sword because the finger dagger, but e R Rukia's sword is easily the most beautiful. That shit is fucking icy for real. Um, so, yeah. So he was uh, number 16 D Roy, right? That was his name. And she dealt with him pretty easily. So, but when that Grimjo guy arrived, his spiritual pressure was. Um, you know, every, every time they shake the screen and, you know, the characters go, <clears throat> you know, they have that little, the, the little, little shiver. Uh, uh, it's, it's like, I, I think of it as captain level spiritual pressure. And when the green show guy came in, Ichigo and Rukia were looking at like, oh shit. And then he said, I'm number six, Grimjo. So I'm thinking their number definitely has something to do with how strong they are in the group. Uh, I don't think we saw Yami and Urukuda's numbers, unfortunately. That would have made this, you know, theory a lot easier, but I'm pretty sure it's right. It just, it just seems right, right? So, uh, yeah, man, we got some lit ass fights ready to fucking get it going. Um, dude, I can't, I mean, damn, there's, I mean, I can't wait to see these fights, bro. If Ichigo and Rukia can deal with this, uh, th this Grimjo guy who's number six, that'd be very, very good for us. That means, like, like, because the number six is a pretty, I mean, the top ten have to have to be pretty strong, right? So if they can deal with this Grimjo guy, then we're, we're looking pretty good. You know, if Ichigo can go, go into his Bankai form, not having to be a Vizard and deal with this Grimjo guy, then we're looking good. But if, if, um, if Ichigo and Rukia get bodied by this Grimjo guy, then that could be the push, the little more push that Ichigo is going to need to tell himself, okay, maybe I do need to become a Vizard. You know, this could be it. The Yami and Urukuda situation was not enough just because Ichigo was kind of winning against Yami, so maybe he feels like he can still, you know, be on par with these wrong cards in his regular Bankai form. Maybe he just needs to practice it a little bit, a bit more. But if this Grimjo guy does body him and Rookie at the same time, then then uh, not only is he gonna, he gonna feel weak, but he's also gonna feel like he can't protect Rukia because she also lost during the fight, right? So that's gonna make, that's gonna push him even more to be like, okay, Hirako, where you at, son? Teach me to put this mask on, right? So yeah, I think that's a, that, that's a possibility of what, of what can happen. I think honestly, it'll be a bit boring if they were able to deal with this Grimjo guy, uh, you know, easily or on par, so. Um, honestly, I'm kind of hoping this Grimshaw guy bodies them, just just because I want to see Ichigo's Vizard. <laughs> I want to see Ichigo get Vizard and fucking power up like we've never seen him before. And I'll, I'll, obviously, I want to see how cool he I'm sure his Vizard form looks very cool, right? His Bankai form looks super slick, so add a mask on top of that, it's probably going to be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Very cool, man. Very cool. We got what? One, two, three, four. We got like five fights going on at once. They're all fire. And uh, there are also some some things that I want to know about. So, Ikaku, we know what Ikaku Shikai is. Um, is that gonna be enough? We we don't know what number this Sarankar is, but I'm sure. I mean, Ikaku is part of Zaraki's squad, so I'm sure for, from from the time that we were in Soul Society till now, he was only training. So I'm pretty sure he's gotten stronger. So maybe he has a different type. You know, maybe his Shikai has evolved in some way to to be able to take on one of these Sarankars. I'm hoping so at least. Um, we still haven't seen Rangiku's power. We know that her sword like turns invisible, but we didn't really see it see it, so I am interested in that. We've seen Toshiro's Bankai, but again, again, we don't know what it does. He pretty much got one shot against Aizen when, when we last saw him use it, so we, again, we, did, we, we didn't get any information. We know it turns him into the Ice Dragon, which is pretty fucking cool. Very cool look, but we don't know what it does, so I'm interested in that as well. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Renji. Last time Renji fought, um, uh, had his big fight against Biakia. He um, he had his Bankai right, but his Bankai was very uh, was very new. It was very. It was it was like a it was like a newborn Bankai. So I mean, it wasn't. Uh, it, it was Bankai level, but I mean, he, it was it was very loose. He didn't know how to master it. So maybe from then till now, he, he's he's learned to truly master his Bankai. So now his Bankai might be a little stronger. So a lot of things to look forward to, and a lot of things I'm hoping to see. 
And uh, yeah, man, should be fucking hype. Uh, if you guys are just excited as, as I am to see the next fucking Bleach fights in uh, next few episodes, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Eventually, I will watch one of your favorite animes or TV shows on this channel right here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that shit in the future. And with that being said, I'm out of here, bro.